there's another uh, feature that you'll see in these soils is when you dig a soil pit through these uh, mounds and depressions, the soil moves and creates these features called slicken signs. And when we look at the profile, if you dig it broad enough, the features you'll see are these bowls that develop through the depressions. So the depressions are down a bit and the slicken signs, these uh, sliding features, move out towards the side. So in a profile, if you dig it wide enough, you'll see this bowl kind of feature in the depressions. This uh, vertisol is seems to be a real mixture of colors and uh, surface features. Could you explain why that is? Well, Art, it's all in the nature of these particular clays that have these shrinking swell properties. One of the environmental criteria for, required for vertisols is that you have to have a wet season and a dry season. And we're just starting in the dry season here now. As the soils dry out, they begin to crack, and you can see it opening up here. It goes down, comes across in here, and it starts to pinch out about here. When it gets drier, it'll actually probably go down a little bit farther. As the crack opens at the surface, material falls into the crack, drops to the bottom. When it rains, water then comes into the crack and the clays begin to absorb the water and begin to swell. And the crack begins to pinch off at the bottom. And the clays then move outward from the base of the crack. And you get this mixing of the material that's fallen into the crack, begins to then move back up in the profile. So we can see some soil mixing here. Come down here, we have some soil mixing there. You can see the different color, some mixing in here. And your matrix or your main color is a brown around it. And if you look at the peds that are sitting next to you there, in this example here, you can see a nice crack coming down there into here. And then we've got a mixture of two distinct colors, even some calcium carbonate being mixed in there. So that's what happens, and that's why these clays or these particular vertisols seem as a real mismatch. Could you tell us a bit about the horizons that uh, you see in a vertisol? Well, in this particular one, uh, we have four horizons. The surface horizon is what we call the AH, little h for humus, and it's not very deep. It only goes down a, a few centimeters. And it's, uh, in this case, quite dark organic matter incorporated from the grasses and the decaying of grass roots. And that one is, when it's dry, is this really granular, fine granular structured material here. And it is also mixed slightly with uh, some other colored materials as well. So the soil mixing in this vertisolic soil also occurs on the A horizon. Underneath that, where the cracks begin to develop, there's a crack going down here. You can see the cracks occurring all through here. We have what we call the BV. The letter V stands for vertic. So our BV horizon comes down approximately to about here. And if I was to look at the color changes, I could probably draw a line somewhere up across the profile, somewhere like this. So that's my BV. And here's an example of a BV horizon. And this example here shows the uh, darker clays. And then if we turn it over, we can see the lighter clay that's been mixed in with the darker material. The colors can be highly variable. This is light gray versus dark gray. And in the profile, we've seen some other colors as well. It's the color change, these two and three different colors that you see in this horizon that make it the BV. Art will look now at the soil structure the peds are quite angular in shape, so we would call this structure angular blocky. So there's angular edges to the, the faces that we're seeing in here. Sometimes you could call it subangular blocky where they're a bit more rounded. Now what happens as you go down in depth, there's pressure from the weight of the soil on the surface and there's swelling of the clays from the bottom. And when these two forces meet, there's pressure there and it causes the clays to slide against one another. And that produces the smooth, use this one here, the smooth surfaces called slicken sides. So this is one clay mass moving against another. So these slicken sides occur in a horizon called the BSS, SS for the 
term slick insides. And you get these very, very smooth surfaces. And when you find them in the profile, uh, they'll be quite shiny and very, very smooth. This one is dried out, so you can see that the vertic cracks are beginning to develop on the surface of the slick insides, and that'll lead to some structure development later on.